that edge of recorded time when men and gods merged and walked the lands of ancient India reveals a remarkably mature civilization. Collectively, they strived to examine and uplift human well-being from every angle. Ayurveda is one of the most ancient and most comprehensive system of healthcare that is known to humanity. We are talking about Ayurveda as a science of enhancing life. This needs a very comprehensive approach. So Ayurveda gives the details of how to do this. Ayurveda takes us from simple things like diet, lifestyle, daily routine, emotional interactions, slowly and very gently, to a deeper understanding of the self. The teaching genius of the sages devised daily routines called Dinacharya, one of the single most powerful Ayurvedic tools for maintenance of health and well-being. So what we feel, what we think, what we live, is reflected in our body. It has such detailed explanations of effects of every single food item imaginable. These are the common spices used in Ayurvedic cooking. These spices alter the quality of the food. be the problem at all, but how we're consuming the food, how we're living while we're eating this food. Actually, the most important thing is how is your digestive fire working? How strong is your agni? It doesn't just look at the structure or the chemistry of the physical body, but the internal and holistic unitary life force behind it, which is called prana. This life force itself has a universal power which sustains the material world. What you exhale, the tree is inhaling. What the tree exhales, you are inhaling. If this alignment happens consciously, this will lead to a phenomenal sense of well-being within you. India's sages derived a bedrock of insights, upon which Ayurveda and all Indic knowledge systems were built. Yoga and Ayurveda, they have their origin in the supreme knowledge of the self. <laughs> Within the human body, the five elements manifest as the tridosha, or the three organizational patterns. The more self-knowledge we have about how we are put together as cells, that will benefit us substantially. Health is the dynamic balance between the essence and the waste in the system. You have to strengthen that equilibrium, your sleep, diet. The bulk of Ayurveda is wellness. Our bodies mirror within all that's in the outer world. Nothing is exempt from this total embrace. In Ayurveda, the focus is on what is at the root of all of this? Why is this happening? Some patients of rheumatoid arthritis might get one herbal preparation and some might get another one. It would also be a touch, a thought, a sound. And it could also be a light. That's what Vedic medicine is. It's spirit-based. The Ayurveda is trans-scientific. That it accepts the methods of science, but also goes beyond it. Having validation through measurement and precision with the modern tools that we have, all this will help in creating a better framework for understanding biological correlates in Ayurveda and yoga. Every time you see a patient or a client, you educate them about themselves. Empower your patients to be their own doctors. And so you're generating a lot of counter momentum from all these different ways and you're doing it much faster and much, much, much safer. When they start doing what they always wanted to do, the cells began to feel themselves in a place where they were naturally supposed to be. So that's healing. It is not about prevention and cure, it's about making the body work at its best. Pure, unbounded intelligence provides the blueprint for the proper functioning of the whole physiology. The state of perfect balance wholeness, harmony, and that is the basis of Ayurveda. You say yes to life, you say yes to things that are supportive of you. 
And there is inner intelligence within you that is universal that will show you what is right for you. Which is the wisdom which resides within each one of us. This is something that should not be forgotten. And so it is with Ayurveda. Harmony within and without.